Hello everyone and welcome back to Availuizu. And in the previous episode we built this beautiful monkey house. And there are a few capuchin monkeys in here. And uh, they are eating and they're playing and uh, they seem uh, very happy. I had to make a little adjustment. I didn't think about the keepers couldn't fit through this hole. So I had to make like a door over here. But now the keepers can uh, reach everything. So that's good. And uh, yeah, I must say I'm just really happy with how this uh, habitat turned out. It's just looking beautiful. So uh, if you didn't see that video yet, uh, make sure you check that one out as well. And uh, yeah, as usual, we uh, start by uh, managing our zoo a little bit before we expect spend it again and uh, yeah of course we uh, didn't have any crime in the last uh, three months so i'm uh, gonna claim that reward again and actually i don't have any messages right now there is a uh, okapi uh, yeah getting mature pretty soon i only have two of them so i probably have to sell you otherwise we will get some overcrowding again so that one is uh, right now it's still a juvenile but we will see. Habitat cleanness is a disease risk. And call a keeper. Oh, he's already working on it. Good. Good guy. Well done. And as usual, we have some fighting gems box. So um, this one, I'm gonna send you to the trade center. And then the uh, problem should be fixed. Bongo fighting to blah, blah, blah. Okay. Wow, there is... Uh, yeah. Everything is going pretty well. Oh, once we say that, an animal escaped. Where? What happened here? Oh, it's pretty fast. There you go. People don't even mind. Let's uh, capture it. And apparently... Oh, well, yeah. There goes another one. There, quick, quick, quick. Box, box. Ah, box animal. I did it. Move. Can I move you? Destination not set. Oh, well. Uh, let's fix this. So the animals are able to climb this one. So move, oh, move it a little bit. I'm gonna move you down and you up a little bit and this way. And then, yes, let's move you as well. There you go. Like that, move. And up there. let's see. Heat map, uh, uh, transversal area. That's better. No escaping animals anymore. Actually, uh, the capuchin monkeys were also escaping through the roof. So I had to lower this tree again. Uh, because, yeah, they were just climbing out of the building. How many do I have in here? You're all thirsty and hungry. I can get a few more, I think. So let's go to animal trading. And let's get some capuchin monkeys. So adopt one. And move it. And put another one in there. And I did see we have some uh, animals still in here. So let's try to sell them. And uh, for example, this uh, golden gems box. Let's uh, sell him for uh, 75 conservation credits. I think that's a good price. And uh, you, just an average one. There you go. Come on. Let's sell him for... Oh, uh, yes, him for 50. And there you go. Yeah, I also had like 25 Komodo dragons in one habitat. So I had to fix that as well. So uh, I'm gonna sell those. And we also still have our reindeers here. But yeah, I still have to fix that uh, habitat on uh, this side. And it's raining again. I keep getting messages, by the way. A facility having significant negative impact and that's this one that's this uh, little windmill which is have having negative impact on the people in the toilets but that's it so uh, i'm gonna ignore that for a while and we finished some research that's good still going i hired another vet by the way so i can uh, do a little bit more research because um i was expanding faster than the uh, vets could keep up so do a little bit of research on the bisons. So while it's raining, let's uh, check on all the numbers. So uh, it's getting much uh, better. I think it would be good for me if I expand the uh, opening hours a little bit. Because then it will actually get dark and I can see the lighting. And I really have to uh, improve my lighting a little bit. Um, well, this actually looks pretty cool. So I have been using it in this area. But you can see there's not much going on uh, in the rest of the park. And I really like the lighting on this one. Really happy with that. How's the crime? There's nothing happening in my zoo. Everything is really safe. 
in Vela Bazoo. Still making a profit, that's good. And in the meanwhile, it stopped raining. Yeah, very nice. Let's uh, take a look at some mating bongos while we are here. Yeah. This is how babies are made, guys. We have some new uh, challenges. Increase Western Diamond Rattlesnake Education Rating to 4%. And right now, it's zero. Do we even have them? Which one is it? Common Death Adder. Puff Adder. Western Diamond Rattlesnake. Let's add a few education stance things. Not sure anymore. We'll use it like this. But I'm gonna steal that idea. Because I kind of like that. So if you move this one like this, it also works and it looks much better. What else do you want? Uh, yeah, that, let's do it like that. So Western Diamond Rattlesnake. There you go. Let's change the colors a bit as well. Make it, make it look a little bit more yellowish. Let's do the same thing here. Oh, which one was it? This one. Very good. I hope that will help. I really like those challenges, by the way. I'm not sure why I'm doing that. I only get like a thousand dollars and that's it. And uh, I still have two and a half million, but yeah. You have to get rich in a way, you know, even a thousand dollars help. And uh, yeah, there's, so there's not much uh, going on anymore. So uh, let's switch to the time lapse right now. And welcome to the time lapse. And first of all, I want to say I'm sorry that it has been almost one and a half week. Uh, since I uploaded the video but with a good reason you might already see it a little bit but uh, in between the uh, recording of the uh, of the gameplay and this time lapse I replaced my entire computer um, because you probably know that uh, Veluazu has been lagging a bit I had to reduce the amount of uh, guests and uh, when I uh, upload a video and normally it would take me two hours to render the entire thing so uh, I thought it was time to uh, finally upgrade everything uh, but yeah that uh, I lost uh, quite a bit of time uh, in that so I built my entire PC myself and uh, yeah that was the first time so um, yeah I was struggling a bit I uh, didn't want to replace my uh, GPU and in the end I did so uh, yeah that took uh, a few more days and um, yeah but I'm really really happy with how it's running right now I'm uh, playing on uh, even a higher resolution than the uh, full HD uh, not 4k by the way um, but it looks so much better I can run everything and uh, ultra settings and no lag anymore so uh, really really perfect and uh, but today's habitat uh, will be for uh, the Niala it will again be a part of the uh, entrance I know um, yeah, it's taking a little bit more time than uh, expected but I really yeah, want to finish this part first before I start with uh, yeah, another part of the zoo. Uh, what I had in mind for this one is this side of the zoo will be for the African animals and the Niala is also part of the um, or part of the, all the African animals in the game and I thought it would be a perfect fit for this as well it looks more or less like a deer which you would normally maybe see in uh, in this type of zoo in the beginning um, but I thought it would be a, a perfect fit for now I'm, I'm struggling a bit with uh, where to put the building um, because somehow the Sun isn't really yeah looking good on the building so I want to get a nice shot of the uh, of the building as well it's gonna be more or less the same style as with the uh, bison and the uh, pronghorn antelope habitat so a really basic style um, but yeah you would actually see this in uh, in a zoo um, because it's a franchise it will also include the uh, transformer some water treatment a staff facility um, stuff like that so um, yeah, a perfect building for a uh, franchise zoo. I will also upload it to the Steam Workshop for uh, everyone who wants to use it in their own zoo, of course. Um, but yeah, on the back they will have the uh, the staff building, the staff gate, everything will be there. I think it looks really well in the end. Uh, basically because you won't see anything of the, of the staff buildings. And um, yeah, the, the guests will have a, a perfect view on the, uh, on the animals. I'm uh, finally starting with the... Um, with the barriers um, on the back I will redo the entire thing uh, in the end of the video but yeah, you will uh, probably see that later but for now I'm using just a standard barrier and um, yeah I'm making something a little bit custom again the same style as with the bisons and as you've seen in the um, 
in the desert building as well. I really like the idea of this uh, wooden fence and then these uh, rope uh, pieces, thingies. Uh, they make everything look better, so uh, that's why I'm using them all over the place. Um, but especially for these kind of animals, I thought it would be... Uh, yeah, a really nice fencing uh, just for this area. Just make it a little bit different from the really classical building on the other side. Um, you will also have um, yeah more wood and, and stuff like that around uh, this little habitat. Uh, but again, the same fencing. And of course, there will be uh, some plants in between the actual fence. And this is what you will actually see in a zoo that you will have a double fencing. Otherwise, uh, kids can uh, stick their hands through the fence and they will get bitten. So uh, yeah, you don't want that. Uh, yeah, depends on your child, of course. But normally people won't like that. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think about the safety uh, as well once in a while. Um, so yeah, uh, there are a lot of fencing. Uh, again, this uh, same piece. Uh, I will uh, copy it all over the place, of course. And uh, yeah, it, it's already starting to look like a, uh, a decent habitat. Um, yeah, maybe people don't know it yet I have been uh, live streaming again uh, last week and I will probably gonna do that uh, this week again so uh, make sure you uh, yeah you join the discord server of course so uh, if you want to keep uh, or want to stay updated on everything make sure you join uh, that and there will be announcement on YouTube as well um, so yeah feel uh, free to join uh, whenever I'm live streaming in the uh, next live stream I'm going to probably gonna fix the entire reindeer habitat again um, because that looks uh, yeah a bit strange and empty and uh, I just want to finish that area as well which will uh, probably be after I finish the entire entrance thing um, I will finish up the North American section first and then uh, we will start on a new uh, section of the zoo um, so uh, yeah I'm as I already said, I'm really happy we can actually extend the zoo uh, because I was worried that we we might have to stop expanding the zoo or yeah, the goal that I had in mind to put all the animals in the game yeah, it was basically yeah, almost made impossible by my computer. So um, yeah, I really hope that the game will uh, will manage uh, yeah to let me build the entire thing. Um, but yeah, the fencing, uh, the uh, normal fence wasn't high enough for the uh, Niala, so uh, they could escape. And uh, yeah, I didn't want that. So um, I had to fix uh, the same uh, fencing uh, yeah, around the entire habitat. I will do a, uh, a little bit of the interior of this building. So a nice concrete floor. And uh, I'm struggling a little bit here with the... Uh, with the terrain work that is sticking through, so I'm splitting the concrete floor from the group and then uh, low or higher, make it a little bit higher. Yeah, very well. Um, yeah, so yeah, so the same uh, thing on the inside. Um, I had to, uh, yeah, force myself to do a little bit more of interior work, so not just not only some uh, yeah, some concrete floor and stuff like that I, I think you would actually see something like this that the animals would have a little bit more privacy normally you would might or you might see some fencing or some gates so they can uh, separate animals I don't know um, but yeah so a little props and, and stuff like that uh, it looks cool in the end it's a really uh, basic building I will get back to the building in the uh, end of the video again just to make the uh, roof structure a little bit more realistic. Right now it's only just uh, some wooden planks and I, I didn't like the look of it. So uh, I will fix that uh, again uh, later. But uh, in the meantime we already threw a lot of rocks in the habitat. And uh, I'm putting uh, a lot of plants and grass and, and trees in. To make everything uh, look uh, much better. Yeah, and, and it does. It does look much better already so um yeah what i will do now is uh, oh the education of course um a, a little bit different from uh, what we have seen before in the vader zoo again a really simple structure but then with some uh, wooden logs and uh, i thought uh, to use the same thing again was a little bit too much oh the thing is upside down so we had to fix that and uh, but yeah not the same uh, uh, metal thing, but uh, this time we are using some uh, wooden things. Uh, I think it would be nice if we would have something smaller than this. Uh, right now, uh, these things are really, really huge. These TV screens, 
and I really hope they will get or they will give us something smaller I know we already have these small exhibit things uh, for the uh, yeah for the exhibit animals but yeah somehow these screens are just way too big a little bit smaller would be uh, perfect so um, yeah please uh, some uh, e exhibit or uh, enrichment items some uh, food stuff and um, yeah some donation boxes I, I want to uh, earn a little bit of money uh, some benches for the guests so they can sit down have a look at the animal and uh, throw away the trash and uh, that already sounds like a perfect day some lighting and uh, yeah I thought it were I was already finished here but then I uh, yeah I looked at the habitat and it felt a little yeah empty on the back and I didn't like the roof so uh, what I'm doing now is adding a little bit more detail uh, on the roof structure and uh, after this I'm gonna add the uh, fencing on the back so it looks a little bit more yeah, realistic and more like the end of the uh, of the zoo so you will actually have a, a gate uh, surrounding or yeah a fence surrounding the uh, entire zoo which will be uh, in the same style as the uh, entrance and uh, yeah with that we almost reached the end of the video so i really hope you guys enjoyed uh, this one uh, again uh, hopefully veil of zoo will be uh, uploaded a little bit more frequent uh, from now because yeah with the new pc uh, i hope everything will go a little bit smoother but yeah i just want to thank you all for watching and if you enjoyed the video make sure you hit the like button and if you didn't do it already make sure you subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out on any new content and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Goodbye.